Moin Moin and welcome to the Copter College. My first two videos about the DJI Phantom 3 I've just released, the one of the unboxing and the second one of the assembly of the copter. At the end of the assembly of the copter I said that you may make a firmware update because it can happen that you uh, get the copter with the, uh, not with the newest firmware but you have the newest firmware on your tablet and so you have to make an update and the app will tell you that you have to make a firmware update. But also if everything is fine and the combination of the app and the firmware is perfect so you can start flying, um, there may come some new firmwares and so I will show you today how to make the firmware update for the Phantom 3 and the remote control. First of all uh, you have to go to the internet page of uh, dgi.com and here you go to the point products and then to the Phantom 3 series. And then please go to the download section. When you have a Phantom 2 and you know how to make the update at the Phantom 2, you know that you have to have a software which you have to install on your computer, either if it's Windows or if it's an Apple computer, you have to install the software and then you have to connect the uh, copter with the computer and then you make the firmware update. With the Phantom 3, that's, um, there's an other way. You don't have to have a firmware here on the computer. Um, you don't have to connect the Phantom 3 with the computer, you just have to have a USB stick and a micro SD card to make the update. You see in the download section we have two different firmwares, one for the professional and one for the advanced. The professional has the 4K camera, so they need another update for the 4K camera than the advanced which only has a full HD camera so please don't mismatch this. If you have a professional use the professional. If you have the advanced you have to use the advanced. To find out if you don't know what you have maybe you make a service for a friend or so and he don't know or he didn't tell you it's easy to find out because when you look here the professional has here the 4K logo and that's the best way to know that you have the professional and on the front of the copter it says also professional but if you lose this sticker or something like this here the 4K says that's the professional so that's easy to find out that this is the professional. So download the um, zip file uh, if you have a professional or advanced one of the two zip files. If you want to read how the update of the firmware works, go to the PDF document and then you will have here the overview how the firmware works. When you did the download, um, I use an extra, uh, um, um, uh, extra part here where I save the, um, the firmwares because then I have every firmware here which comes after the other like you see here we have the Phantom 1.9 for the just make it a little bit bigger then you will see we have the firmware update for the advanced and we have the firmware update for the professional when you download it, the file you have to unzip it and then you will find this for the advanced and this for the professional. Here's the how to update again, the PDF and then we have here the firmware. You can see the different is P3S and P3X. These are the two different firmwares. One is for the professional and one is for the advanced. Okay, so make the, let's make the window a little bit bigger. Sorry, let's make the window a little bit bigger. Now you need a micro SD card. You can use the micro SD card out of the 
uh, Phantom 3, but I would suggest to take a new a formatted, uh, formatted micro SD card so you're sure that there's nothing on because you have to copy the file in the root directory uh, and that works with a new uh, micro SD card. Perfect. Now put the micro SD card here in your slot. Then you will see it here, micro SD open in the new window. And then I copy, this is a professional, I copy the professional file here to the micro SD card. Here we are. If you have problems with uh, copying the files because the, uh, there, there could be the chance that the uh, SD card adapter is locked, so take care if this won't work, that the uh, SD card adapter is unlocked. If this is ready, remove the card from the SD card reader of your computer and then make exactly the same with an USB stick, also formatted or an USB stick uh, with nothing on it. So put the USB stick in your reader and he here we are, no name, nothing is on the, on the USB stick. Then we go back to the firmware section, here we are again, and take exactly the same file and move this one to the USB stick. Here we go, takes a second and then the firmware is also on the USB stick. So what we have now is we have the micro SD card with the bin file on it and we have the USB stick with the bin file on it. Now we start to update the copter. Just let me remove the USB stick here. So now we start to update the copter and if you're indoors please remove the propellers because if there's something happen um, and the copter starts automatically you never know um, then you're sure that the copter won't fly against your uh, stuff in your room or against people. So please remove the propell propellers. Then we remove the cover for the camera. And on this side you will see the micro SD card slot. So remove the original micro SD card which comes with the Phantom 3 and then put in your micro SD card the gold con contacts downside, move the micro SD card in the slot, put the copter on the table and just start it like you do always and that's it. Usually after some seconds the update process starts. With my copter there is no update necessary because I have the uh, actual firmware on the copter so that will nothing happen now. If you have to do the update the copter will make a beep signal like beep 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 beep. beep. And this signal shows that the update is in progress. It takes like 20-25 minutes and then it comes a beep, 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 that's it and then the update is finished. Um, you won't see that the update is finished on the, on the signals here, on the light signals of the copter. I think it's a little bit difficult to recognize this and there were some uh, guys who stopped the firmware update too early or they waited too long. So. Um, I, I personally find it a little bit difficult um, and I don't know why DJI didn't do like all the lights are flashing red or something like this. So you know exactly now the firm date is done and everything works fine. But they don't do this so you have to take a little bit care of it and um, check it by yourself.
When the firm, the firmware update is ready, just switch the copter off. Then remove the SD card. Put the SD card in the SD card reader. And then go to the SD card. And you will see, here we are micro 4 gigabyte and you will see you have the bin file you have the dsim ordner where the pictures come in and you have a result ordner or uh, you have a result file this is the result file and when you go on the result file you will see this because i have the firmware on the copter the result is abort the firmware on the sd card is identical uh, uh, to the actual firmware which is on the aircraft so there was no no necessary to uh, make the update if you do the update at this point result should be um, should be finished or successful successful um, should be there I show you later how this looks because I have the uh, USB card uh, USB stick here um, from my last update and I didn't uh, clean the files here so there's the, the correct file on it and I can show you how this looks like. So this is everything you have to do. Next step we have to go to the remote control and this is also very easy. It's exactly the same. On the back side you have the USB, USB connect where your tablet is in. Remove the stick, the USB connector here. Take your USB stick, put the USB stick in, turn on the remote control and after a second the update process should start. The same again, I have the firmware here on the remote control so nothing happens but you will see the light flashing here and as long as the light is flashing the firmware update is in progress. At the remote control it's a little bit shorter, I think it's like 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes for the update. So this goes a little bit faster than on the copter here. When the update is ready, turn off the remote control, remove the stick. Don't forget to connect the tablet again with your remote control. And then when you put the USB stick, this is the one I've done before. So this is how it should look like. Have this one here. And here you see we have the firmware update and we have the result here. And if you go to the results, that's what I said. Upgrading result success. That's what it should look like and then you know that the firmware update of the copter and the remote control was fine. Everything should work and now we test if we, are, if we did a good job. Just turn the remote control on first. Then turn on the copter. Turn on your iPad or your and here we are that's it so everything works fine he says compass calibration there's a compass error yes that's for sure if you go outside after firmware update please make a compass calibration home point has been updated so everything works fine connection between the remote control and the copter works fine we have to make the compass calibration later on. I will show you how this works here. Just calibrate the copter and that's it. Okay, so everything is fine. We have updated the copter. I hope it works fine at your copter too. So in the next part of my videos, you will see how the App works. I will show you all the features of the app. I will show you how you can change the different settings and what four other different settings of the app 
from the Phantom 3. And then we will make our first flight with the Phantom 3. We go outside and make the first flight. So stay tuned. There are coming up some more videos. Hope you have some fun. Enjoyed my video. If so, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and always I say bye and moin moin. <laughs>